Uh, so a few months ago, I started compiling a list of rules that I'd come up with over the years on how to be a DBA. Um, but I soon gave up out of frustration because it was more a list of how not to be a bad DBA by not doing what I did rather than on how to be a good DBA. Um, but I think now there's actually a place for that sort of set of rules because databases are inherently uh, very dangerous in terms of what you can break and a new DBA could learn from the mistakes of others such as myself. Um, and the first thing I, the, the first rule I broke was um, don't, don't test on production. Now you know this rule and I know this rule but your supervisor who walks up to you one day and says, oh, just run that on the live databases, well, you know, doesn't know this rule, and so you have to show them by deleting the contents of a very large table. Uh, so yes, one of the first things I did when I became a DBA was set up a t test environment for this table. Um, but it's been something that over the years in various companies I have had to fight for. Um, I don't know what's next. This is going slowly. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know what the next slide is, actually. Oh, yes, OK. Um, uh, yeah, so databases are sort of like heavy machinery. And they should not be operated uh, by people who are under heavy sedation or who are drunk or sick. Um, and I had followed this rule quite easily for the last five years, up until two months ago, when I found myself in uh, extreme burnout from a large project and accidentally dropped a table. And uh, yes, I, at that point I realized I had to just cut myself off from the databases, except that I couldn't just go home from work. And uh, so my solution for that, and I think other people have a term for this, is uh, the perpetual boss key. And the idea is that you set up uh, your, your computer monitor so that it looks like you're working. Um, I set up a whole bunch of uh, terminal windows. One will be connected to a MySQL test database. Another will be tailing a, a log so that you know the screen keeps changing. Um, I've gotten away with this quite well so long as I you know, keep my head upright and uh, I'm not snoring. Um, I've heard other people as well have, have a different name for this, and uh, I talk to the sysadmins at work, and they do this as well. So I thought it was my idea, idea but obviously it's not. Uh, and I'm yet still ahead of myself. Um, I like to monitor everything I can, and if there's a way to redundantly monitor something, I like to do that because um, a problem may manifest an error log before it affects performance, and you want to make it look like your databases are always running smoothly. Um, at the same time, though, um, as a DBA, you need to make sure that it doesn't look like you're not doing anything, because uh, you know management trying to cut some you know cut some cash will sort of think, well, the databases are running great. We don't need a DBA anymore. Or they, you know, at, at best, they will say, well, why haven't you worked on these other projects yet? Um, so in that case, you need to um, document to them what you're doing, but also document to yourself the steps you've taken to fix problems. Because as a DBA, um, I've been woken up quite a few times at 3 in the morning. And uh, me at three in the morning, I don't even, I don't know what day it is, and I don't even know what I do, and I really appreciate having a list of instructions. Um, and even, um, you know, you can try to do all the best practices, but eventually you will screw up something. And uh, I work with a bunch of sysadmins, and I cannot hide that from them, so I just have to fess up. You know, they will mock me for a week, but it's better that than them mocking me behind my back. Uh, and, uh, oh yes, and I have a very important rule about taking breaks. Well, I can't judge that. Um, yeah, there's a lot of really boring and, and slow and tedious work in DBA work. So if you can script anything that you don't like, then do it. Um, you know, then you can spend more time watching YouTube or, you know, working on something more interesting. Uh, uh, don't be clever. Uh, what I mean is if, you, um, if you're given a problem to solve, do not try to impress people with coming out up with the most convoluted and confusing and strange and buzzword-filled uh, you know, solution to something because you are going to have to maintain whatever monster you created. So you know, the fewer points of failure, the better it's probably going to be for you, and it'll probably work better that way you know, in the system as well. 
Um, help developers. It's always on the job description that you should help developers with their SQL queries, but it's easy to forget about that because you're too busy trying to save the databases from them. Um, but you know, it's the low-hanging fruit of, D of DBAs to do SQL queries. It's hard for developers. It's easier for you. Um, so you know, they really appreciate it. And then sometimes you get gifts. Um, I made a joke once that I required chocolate for helping a developer with one query. And two hours later, there was like a nice you know, bag of gourmet chocolate on my desk. Um, it doesn't have to be chocolate. I've also received beer, you know, whatever you like. Um, but you, know, you, need to, uh, you need to sometimes nudge the developers into appreciating you. So I find that you know, it doesn't, doesn't hurt to ask. Um, yeah, that was the first, first gift I got. It was really good. Um, so yeah, that's my whole talk. Um, I want to actually write an article about this. So if anyone has any suggestions, stuff they could add, you know, I'd love to hear it. Thank you.